Joining me now is New Mexico State Senator Linda Lopez. She was one of the Democratic lawmakers targeted by Solomon Pena. Her home was hit with over a dozen rounds of gunfire, including into the bedroom of her 10-year-old daughter. Senator, thank you uh, for joining us tonight. First, if you could just tell us how you came to experience this, uh, that, that your home had been targeted. Uh, what did you think when you first encountered the, the, the bullet holes? Well, first and foremost, thank you very much for the invitation to be here this evening. We uh, were asleep um, that night, nice and quiet, um, woke up to the sound of some loud bang noises. And initially, I had thought that it was possibly some fireworks. In our community, January 1st had just come. There's a celebration, you know, with loud fireworks. Um, the three of us, my son, my daughter, and I checked. We were all okay. Um, everything seemed to be fine. It was quiet again. So we went to sleep. I woke up early later that morning and uh, turned the light on, um, opened the shades, and I saw exactly what had happened in my room. Um, and I saw, okay, walked over into my daughter's room, which is next to mine, and saw more bullet holes that were going through her room. Then I went to uh, the front of the house, out, um, saw what had happened um, on the front top of our garage and through the garage door. That's when the realization hit me, of course, that this was not just fireworks. This was actually, our house was a gun down. So phone calls made um, to our police department there in Albuquerque. I spoke with our police chief and that started the process ongoing about exactly for investigations, you know, all of the interviews and such that transpired after. And then, of did course, after that happened... Did you have a suspicion that... Oh. Sorry, did you have a suspicion that this was politically motivated? I didn't really think of it as one. I don't know. Um, it was his thoughts, I think, as the day progressed, um, as a realization of what had happened and how close that had... With the bullets going through my daughter's bedroom, exactly, you know, the threat that was made to my family... You know, during my tenure in the New Mexico State Legislature, I have sponsored legislation to repeal an abortion ban. Um, some of the legislation I have um, introduced over my 27 years in the legislature, I've had some threats and such, but it has never been to this point as to what both myself and my family experienced on that morning of January 3rd, something totally different. There... There has been extremism in New Mexico politics. Um, I think people think of it as a, a democratic uh, state, and it, it has been dominated recently by democratic uh, politicians. There was a, a, a local office holder in Otero County who himself, I think, was convicted of being in January 6th, mm -hmm. uh, trespassing on, on uh, government property that day, he refused to certify. He ultimately was uh, essentially had his position taken away from him. There have been... Uh, abortion-related uh, threats by local governments to criminalize it. What, tell us a little bit about just your feeling about how much this is connected to something larger that's happening in your state and how much this feels like a particular individual. What I think Mr. Pena represents is, is it's a bigger issue that's in our country. You know, with the insurrection that happened on January 6th, I mean, it, it was on his Twitter feed exactly, you know, showing off that he was there. Um, there's so much more of, of threats that have been made to our Secretary of State here in New Mexico and other places across our country. You know, with Governor Whitmer, um, what was happening with her kidnapping, I think it, it's something that's much larger than just here in the state of New Mexico. Uh, the rhetoric has to stop. You know, with what happened with us in, our, in, our, in my home, it, it was, it, it's disheartening, um, angry, very anger that I felt, and on occasion it still riles me um, just to think about how close this could have had um, a serious injury to my family. But ultimately what I think what it comes down to is that this country needs to really take a look at itself internally. The insurrection that happened, all of the other um, problems that are arising, the violence that is there, we have to look at ourselves and figure out what road are we going to take? And what this incident has actually brought me is to a whole different juncture as to what do we need to do here in my state of New Mexico? What conversations do we need to have? How do we work with the other side of the aisle, but even amongst ourselves in community in figuring out what is it that's acceptable? Violence is not acceptable. 
um, the democracy that I've participated in during my tenure again here in the New Mexico State Legislature is part of what we are. This is what our country is based on. And to have um, these persons being willing to destroy it is something that I won't stand for. And I know there are others who won't stand for it either. Final question for you. Uh, have you had colleagues across the political aisle, Democrats, Republicans, reach out to you, offer support and solidarity in the wake of this? I have. Um, I've had, in fact, today was opening day in the legislature. Our minority floor leader um, did mention that this was unacceptable. Um, one of their other persons of leadership also mentioned, um, came up to me personally. I've had phone calls from other persons on the other side of the aisle who have also called and express their dismay and anger at what had happened and what Mr. Pena did. Um, I believe it's an opportunity for us to come together. We have to. This democracy is too important for our country and for our state here in New Mexico. When I first started a few years back, um, well, a few decades ago, I should say, is we could talk. You could sit down and disagree, right? Let's, let's agree to disagree and have a conversation. But where we are at this juncture, we cannot proceed this way. Um, I am sworn to protect the constitution of my state and of this country, and I believe in the democracy. We have to make this change. We have to stop this ugly rhetoric. Violence is not acceptable. New Mexico State Senator Linda Lopez, thank you so much uh, for sharing a little time with us tonight. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much, too.